Hi everyone, how you doing? ADH here, happy Easter. I hope everyone's having a good day. Well, we're going to continue on with uh, the Wind Waker HD. We are so close. I reckon, uh, I'm hoping a couple of streams we should be done. Uh, we've got the last temple to do, the Wind Temple, and then we've just got the rest of the game. So, uh, how is everyone doing? Hey Sean, um, Andy, welcome to the stream. I'm doing alright, I'm doing okay. It's a uh, decent weather outside, been out, uh, had dinner around my brothers, it's been all good. Nice roast dinner, can't complain. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we'll just continue on. <clears throat> hey Major, how you doing? Sean, I, yeah, I usually keep the stream open on a different tab just to make sure everything's going okay. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit mute. <laughs> We're good, we're good. <clears throat> so last stream, when we were planning this on Thursday, we got to this island. And there was a puzzle inside. I'm going to give that up. <laughs> I can't be dealing with that right now. So uh, we're just going to head towards the next temple. Yeah, Sean, happy Easter as well to yourself. It's kind of crazy, right? There's no Easter eggs anywhere. Uh, I went out, what, yesterday? No Easter eggs. Even the day before, no Easter eggs. Maybe they've, like, ordered less this year. But, but I thought it was a bit weird. Usually after Easter, you know, you can go to Tesco's, pick up Easter eggs cheap. Very bizarre. Cool, you're going to sit here like a lazy sack watching this. Well, it's Easter Day. What else you got to do? <laughs> uh, we probably want to be using one of the uh, the songs to move around. i tell you what, I... W I won't miss, after I complete this game, I won't miss the fact I keep getting disconnects all the time, I'll tell you that. Right, okay, so where are we going? Ugh. Yeah, last stream, I think it was the Earth Temple. We were saying it should have been called the Light Temple because all of the puzzles pretty much were were based on light. Like reflecting off your shield or using medley, uh, you know, with the puzzles as well. So I'm kind of intrigued what this is going to be. There was one of those little forest critters that we kind of picked up, so... He's actually sitting on top of the uh, the dragon head. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You know what? I haven't had an Easter egg this year, Sean. Um, I've kind of... It's one of my resolutions to not buy sweets, chocolate, anything like that. Unless I'm giving it. So, uh, just for this year. That is the plan. Doing okay so far. Four months in. ADH, as was the case with Medley, I have no doubt that Marker 2 has some special role to play in these events. Discovering that role is your duty. I am certain that by cooperating, the two of you can overcome the dangers and pitfalls of this temple. Well, I'm glad someone's got some confidence. <laughs> well, Major, I... I, I'm still eating sweets if I get given them, so like on Friday night when we had the barbecue, uh, one of my buddies, he brought up some chocolate, so I did have a chocolate bar or two, but I'm just not buying them, <laughs> just for this year, as long as I can go. 
Right, okay, so here he is. I love this guy. Up, up, down, right, left, right. Is that the world's smallest violin? <laughs> Probably. Okay, what we got here then? Just a big empty room. You got ah uh, uh, Easter uh, Cabri, sorry the yeah Cabri cream eggs, aren't they? With the, all the uh, the fondant gooey stuff in the middle. I do like a good cream egg. I'm sure they've changed the uh, the ingredients, so Sean. They don't quite taste as good as they used to, but. There's anything ever, you know. Right, what is this? Let's put him down. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. That's weird. So we've got two of them. Hey Mackie, how you doing? How's your day been so far? Right, so we've got we've got another one of these spring things. So using the iron boots, right? That drops it. I think generally this is just a different way of moving around. They're basically a different type of spring. But what I'm going to do, right? Let's use the leaf <laughs> not preferably not like that take them off you know what I think that might work Glad to hear you're doing well, Mackie. Good stuff. Right, let's throw a bomb. Cool. So what happens if I throw him into the whip? Oh, look at that.
I, I always thought it was weird with this game that the game kind of, when you're attacking an enemy, there's like a split second where everything stops. And it used to bug me, but I think pretty much every Zelda game has done it since. So really it's not as bad as maybe I was uh, remembering it being. Hang on, let's pick him up. No, we can't get back down there. You know what, I'm going to leave him for a second. Try and figure out how to uh, get through with him. That didn't work either. I was so sure that was going to do it. But there was a, a switch up top. Yeah, there's a switch right up here. So there's got to be another way of doing this. It's a bit weird what these are supposed to be, though. Oh, hang on, hang on. So if we pick this thing up, we've got a new song, haven't we? So let's try that in the temple. Okay. Well, it's got to be... I'm, I'm fairly confident there's something to do with these little patches of dirt on the ground. Sean, no, I don't. I don't remember what he said. Remind me. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how you control him. Right, that's fine. Yeah, Sean, it's cool. I figured it out. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it definitely doesn't like the wind there. So that's how he gets about anyway. That's good. Let's go back to Link then. Sean, I, I play so many different games in between streams and do stuff. I can't remember. Half the time I'm reading it out and not... <laughs> My memory's not as good as it used to be. I, I don't want to make excuses. So we've got a tree here. Yeah. 
I, I am forgetful, apparently. Come on, plant something. Oh look, we got we got a chest. Hey, something's going right. Right, let's go back to Link. Wow, a hundred rupees. I'm I'm really hoping that this actually means something. <laughs> Uh, and it just didn't grow two trees for no reason. There's, right, there's got to be something with this puzzle then. Okay then. So you didn't rip. That was only for a chest, but you know that's all good. So I need to get back up, I guess. How uh, how has people uh, spent their time on the weekend? Have you managed to play anything, watch anything, do anything? Restrictions are slightly eased in the UK, so it's not been too bad, really. Not that it's made much difference, I guess, but... Fly, my pretty. They've locked up tighter than ever before. Oh, really? So you're you're going the opposite direction to what we're doing in the UK, then, Major. Uh, you've been playing Kingdom Hearts on the PC, Minecraft with a friend. You went to Brighton to visit him. Good stuff. How is Brighton? Is it heaving with like people, Sean? Hey, Leon Scott Kennedy. How you doing? Right, these are the things that you have to hit from behind, aren't they? <laughs> come on, come at me, bro. I deserved a heart pace from that. That was just stinge. Hey, Leon. Waluigi. Imagine not tuning into an ADH game and stream exactly. How you doing, Waluigi? What kind of terrible human being would do such a thing? Indeed. Uh, we're supposed to travel local, but de depending on definition of local is... Yeah, ex exactly, Sean, yeah. As long as you're careful about it. Right, this looks so like some kind of blow, yeah, a wind thing, cool. So this is the wind temple, so I would assume most of the puzzles are going to be, well, wind-like.
Well, that wasn't quite what I was expecting. However, we got a couple more of those dirt patches. Yeah, well, Luigi, at least things are looking at improving in the UK. Um, let's hope it, you know, stays that way. Doesn't go the direction that France is going in. <laughs> These are some fast-growing trees. You're doing good, Leon. Glad to hear it. Hope, uh, have you been playing much this weekend, Leon? Right, so what have we got here? So we need to get, we need to fly this little guy up top. Yeah, well, Luigi, it's fine. It's cool to see you anytime. As long as you're doing all right. I I would expect today, you know, a lot of people are probably uh, seeing family and stuff. Hey, Eric, how you doing? Leon, you're not doing too much. Fair enough. Not the little guy. Um, okay, well, at least we got through the door. <laughs> Eric, I'm doing okay. I can't really complain. Um, yeah, I I had a, a barbecue on Friday night. Finally. Finally met up with some friends Friday night. First time, what, six months, seven months? Had a, a good time, if you know what I mean. Um, I felt I, I kind of regretted it yesterday. <laughs> I'm still feeling... A little bit off today, but I'm all good. That's what bank holiday weekends are for. Hey Lance, how you doing? Yeah, something like that, Waluigi. <laughs> but yeah, nice. Definitely. Well, actually, that was the second barbecue of the year. So uh, I'm hoping many more barbecues while we've got the sun at, well... It, they, they rec the weather reckons we're going to have a bit of sun next weekend as well, but we'll see. Right, so we got this big head thing. Looks like maybe I could shoot an arrow in its head. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's what I want to be doing, but... Nah, that's not it. Yeah, we've got these like insignias on the wall. Oh, these are the ones with the bombs. That was it.
nice. Apparently they forecasted snow. That is crazy. Crazy talk. No, so I think Dibble, when he was on the chat the other day, he said we were going to get some snow in the UK. I was like, you feeling all right? Snow in April? It wouldn't be the first time, to be fair. Right, according to... Yeah, he's in there, the little guy. ADH. The stone that blocks the entrance seems extremely heavy. The only way you could move it, ADH, is if you were to become as heavy as a great Deku tree himself. Ah, if only the great Deku tree were here right now. Well, I thought I could pick stuff up now. Maybe not. Lance, your cousin had his 14th birthday. Good stuff. I hope you uh, had a good day. I hope you had a good day. It's a nice golden feather. So what have we got here? We have... Kind of looks broke. What were they called? Floor Masters? Whatever they are, they're super annoying. Hey Kylie, welcome. How you doing? I, I did see Lance. Looking very uh, dapper, I must say so. It's been hot where you are, Waluigi. It's, um, we had one really good day of sun. I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. No! <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, we had one really good day of sun. I know that because I, I dug the shorts out. And that's when you, mi you know, that's when you know it's sunny. When you see me walking around with shorts. Right, we had another... Did we have a wall thing down there? Yeah, it's around there. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Happy Easter as well. Guys, we are, we are getting so close to the end of the game, I can feel it. We've only got this dungeon. We've got, I believe, the Triforce quest. And then just Ganon's Castle. I don't think we're going to get it complete tonight. But I'm going to give it a good go. You know, try and get as far as I can do. Oh, look, it's a chest. Uh, joy pendant. These, pe yeah, we not all know what joy pendants are. There's um, been a few uh, movie trailers over the weekend. I, I noticed there's a new Black Widow, but also Space Jam. Has anyone watched the trailer? I was. I'm not too sure what to think. <laughs> mm 
It looks alright. It looks like Ready Player One, if I'm being completely honest. It does look a bit bizarre, but we'll see. Right, so that brings that back round. Yeah, the uh, the Space Tram trailer is out. It is not what I was expecting at all. But, I hope it's good. Okay, well... That was pointless. Hey Wayne, it does does look interesting, don't it? Hey KHD, how you doing, man? Happy Easter. Yeah, it's um, it looks alright. I'm just very surprised with the direction they've taken it, but. It, it was kind of cool seeing like a lot lot of other... Like Game of Thrones was in it. Game of Thrones, The Iron Giant, Flintstones. Very, very surreal. Why? Yeah, go check the trailer out. Let me know what you think of it. Because I have watched Space Jam way too many times in the past. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely going to watch the, the new one. Right, let's jump on. Right, so we've got that turning. That's not good. That really is not good. ICT Lean, welcome. How you doing? Right, so I guess... Yeah, I guess we could get down there, but while I'm in the air, I might as well try and get that chest. We got, I was going to say, we're the dungeon map, yeah. Surely we must be getting that soon. Why, uh, why thank you? <laughs> I'm not quite sure I could, how I'm going to respond to that, but thank you, uh. <laughs> um. Do I know you at all, ICT, Lean? Are you messing around? <laughs> anyway, right, so we want to go around the corner. Well, actually, talking about OnlyFans, if uh, you click the link... No, I, I don't have an OnlyFans. No. I like this puzzle. The issue is, is I do not have enough magic to do this. Now I do. It does look a bit weird, doesn't it? It kind of reminds me of a miss, uh, a mishmash of a lot of movies. 
you know, like any 90s movie where the real person gets sucked into a cartoon world. You know, that old story. But this is slightly different in the fact that they then get sucked into another world, which is all CGI. I'm like... That does look bizarre. But I, not that I got anything wrong with it, but... It does look a bit weird. Definitely going to need some magic here. Hey, Reach. How you doing? Come on. Give me your magic. That's not going to help. Might just make it. Uh, should we try and use a bow and arrow? Because I don't want to get hit by that in midair. That would not be good. You know what? Let's risk it. Oh, did I do that, Sean? I didn't notice. No, Reach. I I didn't even bother the uh, with the the block puzzle. We just gone straight to the new dungeon. We're uh, we're a little way into it, but not that far. I'm hoping we can make some really good progress today. The last dungeon, uh, I kind of got stuck a little longer than I wanted to on that one. But the rest of the dungeon was fine. So I'm hoping if we can make some good progress, try and do the Triforce hunt as well. We might even get to get Ganon's Tower, but I doubt it. That's a long way down. And we still haven't got the... Yeah, he's still behind the bars there. So maybe there's a different way of doing this. I'd, well, I've never played this, Lancer. I haven't a clue what bosses are coming up. We got the compass site. That's all good. There's a claw shot in the game. Spoiler alert. Well, <laughs> I'm guessing the claw shot's on this level because this is the last dungeon. So, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> So, we're going to need the little leaf guy for this. Yeah, Waluigi. 
it's it's all good. I'm glad you're uh, fine though. Hey Alan, welcome. Sunrise, welcome as well. Hope you're doing okay. So we need uh, a key for that one. We need... Yeah, there's another door. Cool. Is the claw shot in every Zelda game? I don't think it is, is it? Definitely not the earlier ones. It's always look like a, a hook shot type thing, isn't it? So we've got these broken blocks. I wonder if the hammer works. No. Oh, there is a, a hole behind him, though. Uh, Ocarina of Time has it, and Majora's Mask. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's always kind of been like the hook shot for me. From most games. That I remember. Happy Easter to you as well, Rich. Honestly, I I'm not hundred percent sure what to do in this room yet. I wonder if I need my little companion to come and help me. We need to uh, bust him out of jail. Somehow. You thought I was going to wear some bunny ears. You know what, Arish? The other, well, it was Friday. I was thinking oh, I should probably do something for the Easter stream. I don't have bunny ears. <laughs> I've got this super scary looking bunny mask, but it's not really Easter. It's more horror like Halloween. <laughs> I'm not wearing that. I can't see anything out of it. Uh... Yeah, I, I, what, like the, uh, like the, the certain girls wear, eh? Right? Bunny suit, yeah, I, I don't think that would suit me at all. Might make a few people sick in the process. Well, quite clearly, I can't get back up there. There's got to be something in this room. See, Major, I did say it was a good episode. It weren't a bad one, was it? I'm glad you liked it. Kind of makes me want to give that movie a go. Yeah, Sean, we'll see. Yeah. 
Well, at least I know what to do on those blocks then, so I need to put the iron boots on and now drop down. Cool. We're making progress. <laughs> uh, oh, have they still got the Easter event going on in... Uh, in Animal Crossing. Now that was a freaky looking, yeah, the Easter Bunny and that is, he just reminds me of the one out of uh, Sun Hill. It's almost like they need to be used for something. Oh, hang on, right. I, yeah, I, I love the Silent Hill games, or at least the first three. Leon, I, I hear they might be making a new one, but I'm not getting my hopes up. And it, would it even be any good compared to the originals? I don't know. You could dress Gretel up like a bunny. Well, again, it's a bit late for that. <laughs> I, I don't know how Gretel would think it. She might not want to get involved with that. Finally. We've got a key, so yeah, if we get back into that main area. We should now be able to get through that locked door. Oh, Gretel would do anything for food. <laughs> anything. Oh, that's cool. So, actually, these enemies, if I use the bow and arrow on them, uh, sorry, the uh, boomerang, yeah, it just takes two hits to kill them. It's probably easier than going in with uh, another attack.
more like a like a boss rush <laughs> than like a mini enemy. I'm just wondering now, maybe they're going to keep respawning until I kill him. I'm hoping that's the end of it after this. Maybe not. Hey Pixies, how you doing? Come on, drop. Homemade lasagna. Nice. I haven't had lasagna in a long time. I have to admit though, Rage, one thing with this game is any other Zelda game, I would have been dead by now. But it is kind of lenient with health, I think. Like, Ocarina of Time, definitely, I had to keep, like, fairies in uh, bottles and... This game, I think I've done pretty well avoiding all that stuff. Except for the couple of the earlier dungeons. Where things went drastically wrong, but... done. Come on then. This has got to be... What What do we say? This has got to be a, like a, a claw shot. Or a long shot or whatever you want to call it. Is there octopus in the, in the lasagna? I really hope not. That just is wrong. Uh, you got the hook shot. Yeah, it extends. It retracts. It latches onto things. What a cool invention. That's a pretty good advertisement. I'll buy one. Uh, cool. Okay. Ah, uh, so that is probably what all of those little... Yeah, on the wall here. That's what they cling on to. Let's give it a test drive. Nice. Let's 
So is there anything else up here? Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, it's just an empty room now, so we can get out. It's an iconic boss, is it? Okay. We'll see about that. I just want the little leaf guy back. Right then, uh, so now we can hopefully try and just get out of here using these then. It's kind of crazy though, for the people that have played this already on the Wii U, the motion controls work really well for like the hook shot, the boomerang, but when you're on a boat and you're using bombs, you can't use motion control. I don't know why. <laughs> it's weird. But it kind of feels like it should do. Maybe Nintendo kind of just forgot to do that. Are we nearly at 20? Awesome. Hit that like... Don't hit it, just smash it. Don't even think about it, just do it. Uh, right, okay. Let's oh, we can't get that far. Do we have to do it from this direction? Maybe I can float over. Let's give that a go. Mazer, welcome. Happy Easter as well. How you doing? The gyro controls are great. And honestly, I don't know how I, I dealt with it on the, the original GameCube one not being you know not being able to quickly look down at the screen that is one advantage if if this does come out on the switch you won't be able to do that i expect so it's a bit of a shame but cool right That's a good shot. Uh, this, no, this is the Wind Temple. I've done the Earth Temple. That was last stream. So let's go up here. Excellent. Right, so we're all the way back at the top now. Uh, now I, I need to try and figure out how to release. Yeah, we're not going to get that way, are we? There's got to be a, a way of busting him out of here. 
But then again, maybe I have to go right round the back or something. Oh, hang on, hang on. Honestly, I, I've really enjoyed all of the uh, the dungeons or temples in this game. They've uh, they're all pretty good, I would say. The forest one was a little bit confusing, but nothing like too bad. Yeah, the issue with this is it looks like this is the way I need to go. But I need the little flying guy, the leaf guy, to make me some more of these trees so I can get up here. Uh, the Earth Light Mirror Temple is one of your favourite dungeons, same with the forest. The forest one was good, like I said, it was just confusing. <laughs> That's really annoying, so I, I need the flying guy to get, get past here. Right, so according to the map, if I actually go back the way I come from, there should be another treasure chest around the corner. Well, it's over there. But I guess ideally I need to be even higher to glide off the top down over there or into the end. It's, it's kind of like, yeah, you know some mobile games to reach. When you, uh... When you have to, like, move it around. Like AR, stuff like that. It all, all uses the, the gyro. I don't think I need to go this way. Let's try this. I wonder if I can...
ADH. The stone that blocks the entrance seems extremely heavy. Only way you can move it if you become as heavy as the Great Deku Tree himself. If only the Great Deku Tree were here right now. I can't see the Great Deku Tree coming to help. Um, well, yeah, we'll see. So we can grab onto those. That's cool. Not that it helps, but... I've not used guides. I've been pretty. Uh, I've I've looked up a couple of little bits, Lance, um, just to make sure you know a couple of items you know that I definitely need. I've I've just had a brief look, but overall, yeah, I've, this is pretty much just a a blind playthrough. The weird thing is, it, it says there is a chest. No, it's up. That must be upstairs. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be doing that. It literally now is a case of trying to figure out how to bust that little guy out. I mean, the only things I have got are my iron boots that are heavy maybe that's what he means maybe i need to think about this slightly different way maybe wear wear my boots and use the hook shot maybe i should have tried that already You any closer then a reach to getting a switch i know you've been talking about it you said maybe wait till april or are you gonna hold off still Okay, we're going to try something different, but with 
with the boots this time, maybe trying to use the, the hook shot on top. <laughs> Was that it? Really? Cool. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's go and rescue him. But I'll get the chest first. Oh, you got family. That's fair enough. Hey, by that time anyway, maybe the pro will be out. Right then. So now that we've got him back, right, we need to swap back to him. Like, we, yeah, we need to get through to that other area again. I feel like the plan is coming together. Just. I mean, yeah, I, I blame myself for that. It did say as heavy as a Deku tree. I had heavy iron boots. But, you know, sometimes you don't really... Oops. <laughs> sometimes you don't really think maybe to try that. Maybe go and you need another item in the dungeon. But if it's a hook shot, well, that's not going to help. I think that hook shot, you can probably latch... Yeah, I know. I've, I've done that. I know what I'm doing. From what I understand, Rage, and again, this is all rumour, but apparently Nintendo have said they're supporting the Switch for the next four years. All of their games will be on both. However, third parties can choose to release just on the Switch Pro if they want. I don't know who said that. I remember reading it. But... I guess for the people that buy the Switch for Nintendo games... You're going to be absolutely fine just with the normal Switch. But if you do want to play third party games that won't run on the Switch, that's probably where it's, you know, you're going to want to pray for. Cool. Right, let's go and plant a. Plant myself a seed. You can 3D print these little guys. I've seen them um, on Thingiverse. You can print your own little uh, leaf people. <laughs> right, okay, that was number one. <laughs> I hate those things, they're annoying. Should we, uh, you know what, I want to try and kill those. Oh, now, now they've run away. Exactly, Sean. That's exactly it. I think the, th the thing is, you know, the Switch is actually quite, quite popular with a lot of people. Well, obviously, it sold tons of copies. But you look at games, especially multiplayer ones like Rocket League, Fortnite they look terrible on the Switch. 
but there's a lot of people that do play them still so these companies probably have gone to nintendo and said look sorry but we can't continue updating this game it just it's not powerful enough i reckon that's partly what's going to happen so you get a lot of the third parties doing it for that very reason and nintendo they're like well we'll make sure our games work on any switch I'm liking this item. It can bring enemies to you. I'm, you know, the hook shot as well. I if if I used it to, I don't know, hook shot a, a heart. Maybe well that should work. So it has got multiple uses. Honestly, I... Well, they do say it will be a lot more expensive. Like the analysts, whoever they are. Uh, they do say it should be probably £100 more. That's... You know, the, the Switch might be dropped a little bit in price by that point anyway. But honestly, there's going to be people that would be happy to spend five, six hundred pounds on like a really upgraded Switch. If it was, um, you know, if Nintendo wanted to do something like that. Yeah, the switching mechanism's all right. It's a bit confused when I leave the game for a couple of days. But when I get back into it, a rage, it's all good. Right, so this is the last one. So we now should be able to grab up. Fingers crossed, that works. That's it, get rid of the evil hands. Sonic and Mega Man, we are playing on the Wii U indeed. Still a good little machine. Except for when it disconnects. Cool. Right. Right, so we've got two treasure chests in this room. We've got one over there, which I can just about see. And we've got one right in front, which I would assume to be... Maybe the, the boss key? Seems a bit soon to be getting that, but... See if he can fly over. Uh, I do have a pro controller charm, but... I wanted to use the gamepad. I think I've got... I think it's like a, a Wii U Pro Controller. Or Classic Pro Controller. It's not like the big chunky pad. So we've got another one of those things on the wall that we could probably rip off. Hang on, what was that? Oh. 
Well, I can't see anything to latch onto up here. I mean, it might be possible. I need to glide down. I don't particularly want to, though. It looks like there's a couple of propellers up top. You uh, saw someone on YouTube who created a new NES using as many brand new parts as possible. Major, I saw there was a guy that converted the Lego NES into a working NES. I thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> um, he probably just gutted a... Uh, an NES though and chucked it in the Lego. There is a channel I do watch on YouTube. Um, he repairs old machines. Not well, not all, all old. He does PS5s, Xbox Ones. He'll buy broken units, like broken switches, DSs, and then he will, like, fix them together. Because that's what I used to do in my spare time. I used to, like, do some mods on, on the GameCube and Wii and, um, rep like, replace parts. But nowadays it's so complicated. I just, I'm not into it anymore. But it, there's something, something about knowing how a machine works that's kind of why i like building a my gaming pcs because you know exactly how it all works and what makes it tick and no it wasn't my mate vince but there's another guy that does stuff like literally just repairs consoles my mate vince does quite a lot of different things Hmm, okay, well. <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> Question is, can he, uh... Oh, hang on, hang on. I need to go down there. Right, so we've got locked door. And I was pretty confident I saw a switch, yeah. I remember when I got my GameCube, right? I was stu <laughs> I was a bit impulsive and stu uh, stupid about it. But I ordered a GameCube from Japan. And it arrived on, like, launch day, which was cool. But I, I made the stupid mistake of getting a, a Japanese console. Like, why would I do that? Because I don't read Japanese. Thankfully, when the GameCube was released in America, they there was like a hack where you could install a little switch to the side of your GameCube and switch between region. So you could switch between America and Japan. So I got rid of my Japanese games bought, and then just got American games. And that's why most of my collection of GameCube games is American. 
Plus it was cheaper getting it from America. Oh, hang on. Let's go plant some seeds. What if I learn Japanese and remove that switch? I tried to learn Japanese. I, I, I got this, like, DVD that <laughs> teaches you Japanese. Um, that was because I wanted to go to Japan as well, but... Yeah, it didn't work out too well. Right, okay. Well, we have winds. It lives up to his name. It is a wind temple. But we still need a key. I, I would say quite a few old school. Uh, games are probably playable in Japanese. But, apart from that, you know, a anything like an RPG, it's too much. Right, so we can't glide back up using this. We're going to have to go the old... Old route. I'm kind of wondering though, why, why two trees there? Seems a bit like odd, you know. According to this, there is still a chest. It says there is another chest in there, but I don't believe that at all. That kind of helped, to be fair. Right, so... Straight over there is another chest. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> um, that wasn't what I wanted. So I think it was just literally above me was another chest. Um, have I... No, I, I haven't watched anything, really. Um, I was going to watch King Kong last night, but I didn't. 
Have we had anyone in the chat that has watched King Kong? There's no way I'm going to be able to get over there now. Apart from that, honestly, I, d I don't really think there's too much I'm um, waiting for a reach. If I found a, another kind of horror -y film, I probably would give that a go. I'm in the mood for another spooky movie. I find that very hard to believe, Sonic. These are, these are really annoying. You think you've killed them, and they seem to come back. Right. Joy Pendant, are you kidding me? Right then, so, yeah, th this is working out pretty well, actually. I don't know where the little guy is, but <laughs> hopefully we don't need him. Right, new room, progress. I look like ba baboons. There's got to be an easier way of doing this. But anyway, we're good, we're good. We can move on. Oh, look at that. Come on, this has got the... Got to be... No, it can't be a boss key. Looks too boring, too plain. 
it is a key. Right, that's fine. Because... I'm pretty sure there was somewhere we needed a key for. Um, right, we can come back out of it then. Go and find my little buddy, wherever he is. Somewhere down there. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's a decent dungeon. I haven't got any problems with it. I do like the, the whole aspect that we're using winds to navigate across and, and all that. Right, so we're back here. So where is the locked door, though? That was it. It was way down the bottom, wasn't it? How he didn't die from that fall, I've got no idea, but we're still alive. It's all good. Hey Claire, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. Guys, please do go check Lightning Far out, Far on out, Claire. You know who? You probably know who she is. Um, she does some great streams. Go, please go check our channel out. The link should be in the chat actually. How you doing? Ah, oh, these. Yeah, I remember these guys. They were super annoying earlier. Let alone now. Come on, come on. Oh, they're so annoying when they kind of. If you don't. Well, if you're not quick enough to defeat them. They seem to just reanimate. That does the job. <laughs> well, kind of. You're doing well. Happy Easter as well. Finally. Right, he's down. Uh, I, I don't think anyone was talking about reviving the Wii U except for you, Mega Man. Or Sonic. It's, it's done and dusted. You know, if anything, the Wii U was... Uh, I, I don't know, a kind, a kind of like beta test of the Switch. That's as far, you know, pretty much every game is now out on the Switch. It's uh, I reckon it'll be a collectible console, but it'll definitely be regarded to Nintendo as one of the uh, failures. But they're not bringing it back. I am totally not looking forward to doing the Triforce quest. I really do not look forward to that at all.
Okay, so we've got exit. The whiz robe must have the key. Because there should be a chest in this room. <laughs> uh, not, not at the minute. Murray make it too. Sorry, what? On the Wii U? Never gonna happen. What's the point? There is never going to be a Wii, Wii U2. No chance. Absolutely no chance. Shots. Uh, what happened to the chest, though? That's so weird. It does say there is a chest on this level. Uh, in this room. Can't see any chest. So that's the only other thing I can think of, is that we need to rip all of these off the wall. And then we'll be able to uh, get the chest that way. At least I hope. Otherwise this is a big waste of time. But that, that's the funny thing. So, when a lot of these games were being made, like... The whole choice of like Mario being that colour is because of the NES colour palette. Stuff like this. It's I, I love like how old 
old games had to be like made a certain way. To benefit the console. Okay, well I'm pretty sure I ripped all of those off the wall. And there is no chest. Hang on. No, there isn't. I've been scammed. I see nothing. Yeah, it does say there is a chest in that room, but I'm guessing it's nothing important, so we'll skip it. Right then, so these guys, we need the bombs. I did defeat all the enemies. Okay, then. Well, if I have to go that way, I might take another look, but I can't imagine it being anything to... Right, we need the little guy for this. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? But no, it's a, it is actually a really good dungeon. I love the fact that, you know, in a weird way, it's a little bit like the Water Temple. You've got multiple levels that you need to activate to be able to get between levels, you know. So, you're just using wind instead of water. Hey, Officer Dibble, how you doing? Sean, don't don't go on asking stupid questions like that. <laughs> I'm guessing Claire's probably played this more than once. <laughs> Yeah, can, can, please, can we move on from Wii U talk? It's We're playing the game on the Wii U. That's as far as it goes. We've had the conversation. Right, okay. So, I honestly do think we need the little uh, leaf guy. Who probably has a name. I feel pretty rude about not, you know, calling him out by his name. But... What, was his name Marka? Something like that. Uh, right, so we probably do need him to fly over the top of this, and then I can bookshot onto uh, whatever he plants. I love the jiggle. The fact he makes a little noise as well. Right, come on, come on. Come meet me downstairs. His name is the Leaf Guy. It sounds better than calling Marco. 
marker. Sounds like a pen. Gotta be careful though, because, yeah, we've got one of those hand things there. Oh, that was handy. I thought we were going to have to deal with the, uh, the wind as well. Are you uh, streaming today, or are you taking a break for Easter? So let's grab the little guy, make him move. Uh, there was some great news actually I saw earlier. So uh, there's a guy called, I, f I, I might get this wrong, I'm pretty sure it's correct, Henrico Magnifico. Uh, he was the guy that when I played through Ocarina of Time last year, we uh, were using like a, a texture pack, like a really high quality texture pack. He has literally just announced one for A Link Between Worlds, a 4K texture pack due in summer. And from the, the trailer, it looks great. He's also done one for Majora's Mask on the 3DS. But truth be told, I probably won't play that. Uh, but Link Between Worlds, definitely. So I'll probably leave that to later in the year then. I do. I would love to play through that game again. I really enjoyed that. It's got some good music. So. Um... Uh, yeah, it's a really good game. Link Between Worlds. You're going to be playing Final Fantasy 13. Cool. I am. I'm going to kind of await uh, Square Enix announcing it coming out for the PC. I would love to see what the PC version's like. Yeah, Link Between Worlds. I remember when I first got it, right? I I played it for about an hour. I couldn't get into it. I didn't really get on with it. Because it was so different to uh, other Zelda games. The fact that dungeons don't have their own item. You have to go and buy them from a shop. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not really enjoying this as much as I, I thought I would. However, I, when I went back to it, I loved it. I... I played it like through in like two uh two playthroughs 
but it was a great game. I wonder if this guy can fly over this or do something. Oh, really, Major? He, um... He's good at what he does, definitely. Well, he made it across into a ditch. Well, that's good to know. Right, I don't, I don't think he's got anything to do with him there then. So we got these three blocks, which I'm assuming is going to be, you know, trying to hold back these blades. But that's not going to stop the wind. There is no wind to conduct. What do you call this? My imagination? Not that it's going to do anything, but it was worth a go. Dibble! Cheers, man. <laughs> there you go. See my brain kick back in there. <laughs> Right, okay, so we, we can get across now. See, that's all it needed. Donation, kickstart in my brain. <laughs> Maybe I want to be... Uh... Oh, hang on. I... Let's try and push one of these into the gap. Because otherwise I think I'm going to struggle getting across that. There we go. Thank you, guys, for the, uh, the hashtags. So we can get through. The question is... We're going to be able to get past the the last spinny block thing. Huh. Yeah, no worries, Dibble. You got top gear on tonight as well, haven't you? What was the point of this? <laughs> uh, it looks like the boss room is down here. 
but I still need like a, a boss key. No, we we haven't got to the boss just yet, Arish. I think I need the little guy with me to be able to do this. But I'm not quite sure how, with the wind blowing so bad. There you go. Yeah, I, I honestly think I'm going to need one of these blocks to block the one further up. But that's not going to help. Yeah, okay, right. Let's try and do something else then. Exactly, yeah. I, I mean, we've only spent two hours on it, so if we're that close to the boss... I think it took about two and a half hours last stream to do the last dungeon. And let's be honest, that's not a bad length for a Zelda dungeon. Two and a half, three hours? You kind of want that length in a, a dungeon. Right, so let's solve that. Just trying to figure out how to do this. Maybe we can block both in just with one of these. Look at that. They should take 40 to 60 minutes. I don't think I've ever known anyone that has only spent that long in a dungeon on a Zelda game. For the first time playthrough, no chance. Unless you're exactly knowing what you're doing. I love the fact he's got a couple of berries hanging <laughs> from the uh, the end of his stick. We haven't got the boss key, though. That's the issue. So even though that is impressive that we've made it this far, I am still missing the boss key. But there's only a couple of places it can be, so... We should be okay. And I mean, there's two chests back this way. So we had one in that room, which we had to kill all the enemies for, but I don't think that's, you know, going to be a problem. I think that's going to be maybe rupees. Huh? 
And then uh, there's another chest, which I, I have a feeling we need this little guy for. Again, I, I'm sure there was like a, one of those music walls that I need him for. Exactly, Major. If a dungeon only took you 40 minutes to get through it, you would be disappointed. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if anyone could get through a dungeon in that time, first guy. Whoops. And if they do, if they say they did first time, they're lying. Right, so... There's a chest in here. Again, I, I don't think this is the boss key. I think I know where the boss key is looking at the map. And we need to be much higher up for this. We need to be on the first floor. I would say quite a lot of the Ocarina of Time levels I did in about two hours, yeah. Especially the earlier ones. I think we got, what, two... S the first stream, I'm sure we did Deku Tree in the next one. Could be wrong. But that game does have way longer dungeons. to be on the other side so Elevator would be nice. Yeah, I'm trying to make use of the, the center here, but I still need to get up a little bit of the level. Too high. Yeah. 
So I think, I think literally it's just there, but we've run out of magic again, so. So guys, remind me, how many pieces of tri uh, Triforce Shard do I need to find? For the people that have played this game before. Is it seven? Something like that? Seven bits? Because I know they did make a bit of a difference from the, the Wii U, Sorry, the GameCube. And the Wii one. So I don't think I need as many of the... Uh, what they call charts. Right, I am so done with this. I just want to get out of here now. Finally. Right, so according to the uh, the map, it should be over this way somewhere. I, this is it, right. So we need to call back the other guy now. Hey, Paul. So the people who played this game means a rage. Don't throw a random number. You can throw a random number. Hey, is it, Paul? Right, okay. So we, yeah, we, we need to get the little flying guy through. So I, was, I was kind of sure that I'd seen another area with the music block, so that makes sense now. There is eight. Nice one, guys. But I think a few of them are just... You automatically get the Triforce Shard, don't you? Instead of, like, finding the, the chart, then having to hunt them. I hope I'm going the right way. Unfortunately, you don't see the little guy on the map. You only see Link.
Oh, it's the opposite side. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can do this. There's, um, yeah, there's a few changes from what I understand. You don't need to get all of the charts. Some of the, the places where you go, uh, you'll get a chart instead, sorry, you'll get a piece of Triforce instead of uh, a chart. This thing's never going to end, is it? Try that again. There's three charts. Cool. And I'm guessing, like, Ganon's Castle is kind of like a dungeon in its own right. Like most of the Zeldas. It's not as straightforward, is it, as walking into Ganon's Castle and... You know, job complete. Usually there's a bit of a, a mini dungeon in its own right. I'm not going to take any chances here. Let's wait for the wind to disappear and then I'll make a dash for it. Come on, come on. It's annoying that's gone back round, though. Right, so he stays there. We go down. Oh, do not do this to me. Of all places, it dumps me there. It can be a bit annoying, but I suppose if if all the enemies had, had got gone in an area, I guess it, it's not as challenging when you have to revisit the areas. But same page, yeah, same page. It does make it easier just running through without the same respawning enemies over and over. Come on, magic. Oh, 
That'll do. I tell you what, they, these are like the worst enemies in the game. <laughs> Most annoying enemies. They're all on this level. Oh, you pre-ordered the uh, the Joy Cons. I didn't even know they were still available. Someone told me they uh, sold out. Right, watch out for the big evil hands. Come on. Put him down. Is he? <laughs> yeah, that, well, this is the thing about Skyward Sword. I just know it's such a big Zelda game, and I mean, this has been quite a long playthrough. And I, I do f kind of feel at times, oh, I, I do want to try a different game, you know. But, you know, I've got to complete this first, really. Otherwise, I'll leave it and potentially never come back to it. So, that's my only worry with Skyward Sword. Is it is a big game. The same with Twilight. They're both... Probably a good 50-hour, you know, playthrough. Come on, let's get this over and done with. I really, really am hoping this is going to be the, the boss key because I'm running out of... Uh, running out of chests, really. That was probably standing there for thousands of years, and we've just gone and wrecked it. This is looking more like it. Right. Is what I'm talking about. That is the key. Right, okay, well, let's go take that boss on. What was there another thing? A Zelda trilogy, Devil? No, what, an April Fool's?
That's the one. What do they call it, the big key? I'm sure they used to call it the boss key. Okay, well... So he's been reset back at the door. Right, so let's bring him with us just in case. I I, I actually thought last week's was great, Devil Top Gear. I, if I get a chance, I'm going to watch it after the stream. But I also I really want to make some good progress on this. I'm not saying I'm going to get complete this complete tonight, but. It would be good if I could at least do some of the Triforce. It's only half seven. We've still got plenty of time. Hey, bye. How you doing, man? It was called Big Key on the Link to the Past. That was it, Nightmare Key. That was close. <laughs> I don't want to be jumping off at that point. Indeed, hope you're at Easter. has gone well. If you're religious whatsoever. <laughs> Right, we've got to get back through here again. That was it. We managed to block two, didn't we? With one. Um, not so, he hasn't gone too bad. It's still been challenging, don't get me wrong, but we're literally coming up to the boss. We're making good progress. We've got a big boss fight coming on. And then we've got that... Well, I'm kind of dreading it because I remember so many people saying the Triforce quest is really annoying. So... I'm not particularly looking forward to it, but... I think it'll be alright. Back. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, I guess it's only England we get Bank Holiday Monday, so because Easter is like a well, a holiday. We we got the Monday off as well. 
So that'd be nice. Hopefully the sun's out. It might pop out in the day. Um, I'm hoping next weekend. I'm hoping it warms up a little bit. So we will see. That was close. Oh, Major, you got the day off as well. You, you do. I think the UK has a better holiday system. I was appalled, right? When I went to Mexico uh, several years ago, we met up with some people over there. Well, just bumped into them. And we, we were talking about, like, vacations in America that generally you only get, like, a few days. And I'm like, what? <laughs> They were surprised that we had like over 20 days holiday generally. In America it just seems so different in that aspect. Do we need another fairy? Let's have a look at our jars. No, we got fairy. We've only got one jar though. So ideally I do want to come across another one. Let's do this. Yeah, I, I think I get 20... Because I've been with the same place for so long, Rage, I think I'm on like 26 days. It's between 24 and 28. So the UK isn't that bad for certain things. <laughs> what is this? This is all sandy. I'm guessing some big serpent or snake or... That's what you usually get in the sand areas of Zelda games. Sinking sand. You don't see that much anymore. All the movies used to have sinking sand. What is that? <laughs> it is some kind of snake. Sounds like a horror film. <laughs> right then, so we picked up the, the hook shot, so... That's got to be one of the main weapons here. That's just cruel. You can't really blame it. I, I would scream in pain with a hook shot being launched at my tongue or whatever that's supposed to be. So we do have the fairy. 
really want to use that, but... I just, I, I really dislike it sometimes with the camera. It just doesn't seem to react the way I expect it to. But what was that? I was firing it. <laughs> Done? I think we are. I thought he was coming back for a second of, like attack there. That's good, that's good, we're done. We have a new heart piece. I'm happy, Link's happy. I still say all of the bosses have been awesome. I, they've all they they haven't been difficult. Don't get me wrong, but they've all been very very different and you know unique. Cheers for the GGs, everyone. <laughs> that was really close. If I hadn't have had that uh, fairy though, it might have been a different story. So how many we got? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm assuming there's 20 in the game. Heart pieces. Boston, you played and beat it. It, it, it is. It's a really good game, isn't it? I, I'm glad I've finally gotten around to properly playing this. Definitely. It is. It is definitely a great game. have the power we can now take Ganon well 
soon. Uh, the Master Sword has returned. Its blade once again houses the power to repel evil. The sword of the one true hero is revived at last. ADH, I have fully restored the power to repel evil to your Master Sword. My ancestors are most satisfied. I shall continue praying to the gods here. ADH, please step into the light and return above ground. May the winds of fortune be at your back. If Leaf Guy is going to stay here, then who will perform the line dancing ritual for the Deku Tree? The seeds will never get to spread anymore. Never really thought of it like that before. Now you've made it depressing. <laughs> Joke. Uh, I see. So the Forsaken Fortress has already... Ah, like a molten snake that casts off its dead skin. That place is so empty and quiet. One can almost hear the echo of dead leaves fall into the cold cracked ground. What? Why? What ails you? What? Lose the long face. The monsters are gone from the world. Doesn't that make you a little happy? I love the fact the fish and the, the boat were having a conversation. <laughs> ADH, I have troubling news. Ganon has, uh, Ganon's not shown himself above the seas since Valu unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. And what's worse, there is not a creature stirring in his base of operations in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it is possible, and yet I cannot shake this foreboding feeling I have about the Princess Zelda. ADH, you must search for all of the Triforce Shards so that we can head back to Hyrule without delay. Link is like... He, he doesn't know what he's getting into. <laughs> you forgot about the boat. Yeah, I think we all did. Uh, guys, I need to run down Gretel. I will be back in a minute. Just enjoy the chair stream. And hopefully we I'm going to go and hide so I don't get hit. <laughs> Guys, Gretel just wanted to say hello. Hey, Come on. Right. Give her a couple of treats. Okay, let's get on with this. So, uh, let's have a look at the map now. So he was talking about going back to the Forsaken Fortress, wasn't he? Let's have a chat with the uh, the dragon boat. We cannot return to Hyrule without first reforming a piece of the Triforce. It is now our duty to gather the eight Triforce Shards. So if I remember correctly, we need to see Tingle at some point. But I did make some notes 
uh, from previous streams of maybe where I should be going. Uh, Mackie, it's, it's a difficult one, really. I, I mean, if you can hold on six months, hopefully it will be out on the Switch. If you can get it on the Wii U cheap, then why not? You know, it works really well on the Wii U. Will they make any upgrades to the uh, Switch version? I don't think they need to, so it's probably going to be quite similar. Yeah, you could emulate it if you wanted to. What was the first iconic rare music score? Was it Battle Toes? Possibly. I, I, I always kind of thought as Donkey Kong Country for me, because that was the first rare wear game I bought, and it was well properly played. I played some of the older games, you know. But not for very long. They're more of their old school games, but Donkey Kong Country for me anyway. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is the era of Zelda, so I'm hoping we do get some. Uh, new, I, I reckon we're going to get a direct, uh, either before E3 time, or they'll just announce something at E3. How do I get round here? Looks like a golf course. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe I've got a hit some of these things in. Huh. Unless, let's try and use the hook shot. Mazer, um, I, d I definitely plan to play more Zelda games this year. What I'm going to do, though, after this game, I'm probably going to just play a couple of other things for the time being. Because it has been pretty full on, you know, playing through this. But you probably didn't hear earlier in the stream uh, that I will play Link Between Worlds late, maybe summertime. We've got Breath... Uh, sorry, we have also got Skyward Saw coming out. So I pre-ordered that. Mario Golf I pre-ordered. This is going to bug me. It is like golf. <laughs> I did wonder that. Why didn't I? I should have tried that in the first place. Maybe this could be a heart piece. K 
come on. No, not good enough. I wonder if I can use wind to... <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the, uh, the leaf for this, aren't I? Poor. Link between, yeah, exactly. Link between worlds is a great game, and it is also quite a good length. It's probably about fifteen hours. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I definitely look forward to that at some point. Ho ho! So beautiful, incredibly beautiful. I'm so glad I bought this kaleidoscope. What is he looking at? And how did he get here? <laughs> so the chest is over here. Can we latch onto that with the hook shot, maybe? No. It pretty is. Mini Golf Island. So I can fall down here, but I'm... S Let's change the wind. Mackie, I, I think it works really well like this on the Wii U. You got a treasure chart. Cool. Okay, well, let's get back and see what's down that hole then. Yep. I think you may have been to where one of the Triforce pieces was before. Okay. Well, we'll just, we'll have to have a look around. I'm having a look at the, the map screen as well. I mean, I'm assuming that one of the Triceforge uh, shards are back on my home islands. You know where I had to lift, lift that head up? I reckon there's one back there. I, I totally agree, uh, Bio. I, I honestly think it's a really good looking game. 
Especially now it's on the uh, the uh, the Wii U. I know some people say the light in isn't as good and all that, but honestly, to me, I don't think it's a big problem. Yeah, we had this island up in the back as well. There was one bit that I couldn't get to, so I'm hoping now that we've got a hook shot that I can do that. Yeah, Reach. No, that's all right. You take care, Reach. I speak to you soon. I keep meaning to ask if you've spoken to Leon yet, or Kylo. That's got to be the way. There's no other way up here. Let's try and get a bit closer. What I'm very surprised about that. Zelda 2 is underrated. One day I will uh, have to give it a go myself. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, that there's got to be a way up here. Uh, okay. We've got a hole at the back. Hey, Mike. Uh, Dibble. Top gear's on, but watching you as well with my Switch. Legend. <laughs> Multitasking. I love it. You, when you were a kid, Mike, uh, you preferred Zelda 2 over Zelda 1. <sighs> Honestly, I wish I had played the first two Zeldas when I was younger. I feel like I've kind of missed the boat on both of them. <laughs> no pun intended. I think this is kind of like a choose your path wisely type thing. Exactly. It's it isn't unlike I've tried to get into uh, into Zelda One particularly. I played Zelda One and Two a few times, but just never got that far. 
I think they're just a little bit too old school for me. You know, the look and all that. I'm sure if I played them, especially the first game, I probably would enjoy it. But Zelda 2, every time I've gone to play that, I've gotten frustrated. <laughs> you play Zelda 1 using a guide, Sean, that's probably a wise idea. At least you could say you've completed it, even if you did use a guide. This is Wind Waker's version of the Lost Woods, quite clearly. Yeah, it's kind of... Probably the closest it's ever been to Mario Brothers. <laughs> So we've got two to pick from. No, we've got three to pick from. <clears throat> Go for the top right. <laughs> Maki, that's, that's all right. I, and I definitely know people that can't play to like the previous 2D Zelda's. The amount of people that I know that have given up on Link to the Past because they got stuck. And I mean, the, ga the game occasionally doesn't tell you exactly where you're supposed to be going. Which is fair enough. It's definitely quite difficult compared to 3D Zelda's. But it's still, I I've always really enjoyed that game. It's not my favourite, but it's a really good game. I get you. So that's where that floor master grabbed me previously. There's a chest up here. That was the wrong way. Yeah, exactly, Mike. That's how Nintendo used to make their money. What? <laughs> that was stupid of me. Um, yeah, they used to have, like, all the, the helplines, didn't they? They made loads of money doing that. And, yet, like you say, I'm, I'm sure they intentionally made their games difficult or... or whatever, at times. You last played Link to the Past as a kid. I barely remember it, but I'm sure I finished it. It's a good game, Sean. I hope you finished it. <clears throat> well, I think a lot of people maybe played it on the Game Boy Advance more than Super Nintendo. Or maybe the Wii, the Wii uh, Virtual Console, you know. Right, so we're back here. We went in the top right, didn't we? That was wrong. So let's go for the one at the back here. Hope for the best. I f the cheek of it. There we go. I think we uh, have earned ourselves something. Ghost chart ship. Check your charts on the map screen to view it. Okay. Well, I 
What am I looking at here? So, I mean, on the gamepad itself, it looks like it's telling me that the ghost ship only comes at night, maybe? I'm not sure, really. Well, it's, it's night time. Yeah, Bio, you take care. See you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. The question is, do I need to use this? Yeah, I, I was just wondering if I had to use the song down here, but I don't think I do. Okay then, let's jump back into the boat and go somewhere else. So we've still got Tingle Island to get to. Let's go to Tingle. And there's a few places on the map I can probably go. I'm hoping there is shards. Do I remember getting a chart for 201 rupees? I can't remember, Sean. In the mail. Uh, I, f I think so. Oh, hang on. So I'm looking at the map here. It says the block next to me. Uh, third block up, two to the right should be a map. Next to it, there should be a Triforce. So let's continue this way. Overshot that bit. <laughs> come on, come on. Right. Let's put back our uh, items. Yeah, I, d I must admit, I'm sure there is a character, Sean, somewhere that would probably give me a bit of guidance, but... Right, let's get out of the way, let's... I was nowhere near it, that would be why.
Da, 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 da. That was rupees. Okay. But then again, looking at the map, it also says that back where I came from, there should be a boat. Maybe if I bomb it, I'll get a trife, uh, like a map from it or something. I think the big question is, do I need the chart to be able to get the Triforce piece? Right, so I don't don't have to get the uh, the Triforce. Back off. Like that. What's adapter? <laughs> to the living. Light the six torches and dive down to the seafloor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders in darkness. Well, I can see one there. What's that, free? I ain't a clue where the others are. like that I uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm only uh, supposed to like free here seems a bit odd let's have another look to the living light the six torches and dive down to the seafloor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that, that forever wanders in the darkness. That makes no sense. That's four. Uh, 
Oh, I see another one. So that's number five. And we've just got one more to go. Somehow. It's like, where's Wally? Where's Torch? <laughs> uh, Wickedy Split. You've had the same profile picture for the last four years. I most certainly have. No, there is going to be a few changes. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about it until it's fully completed. But I have been working on new graphics and things like this. Uh, new emojis. Thing. We should be, hopefully, close to, uh, to changing things over. 100 rupees. I don't want rupees. I want parts of uh, the Triforce. You should stream on Twitch. Uh, I, I kind of do at the same time. But YouTube is... I feel like YouTube is kind of my home, so... No way. That was ice. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Uh, Wickedy Split, I do appreciate that. Cheers, man. I am none the closer to a Triforce piece. I am gutted because I honestly thought I was, like, solving a puzzle that was going to get me a piece. Uh, Matt, doing all right, actually. I, I just, I want to find some Triforce pieces. <laughs> and every time I kind of think I found something, denied. Actually, maybe so. Maybe so. I will uh, speak to you about that, Major. Wickedy. I, I think I remember your name. Or at least the Wickedy part. Time goes quick, doesn't it? Uh, go on, Sean. Give me a hint. For the Triforce quest, I'm not that bothered. There is something over there we could go and have a look at. Gonna need the boat for that. Use the bird. Good point. I barely use the seagull. So we have to use the... Seed things for that. Come on, seagull. Do your thing. Okay, maybe they're not the uh, the seeds I, w I thought they were. How far through I am I? I've just got the Twyforce uh, collect uh, thing to do. And then I've got the last Bowser, uh, Bowser Ganon fight. But we need to find about eight pieces of the Triforce and then I can go to Ganon's castle. But... I thought, I thought for the seagulls it was the Red Seeds. I could be wrong. Uh, Lance, no worries. Take care, man. 
Thanks for stopping by. You grabbed a physical copy of Pikmin 3 Deluxe from Amazon for £25. I'd noticed that. Yeah, I was considering it. But... I, I could never really get into a Pikmin. But I, I know Dibble plays it. He really enjoys it, so... Hey, Eric. It's been a while. Seagull, it was the pears, isn't it? I can't find any. I don't think I've got pears. I'm lacking with pears. So we're going to have to uh, find some first. We'll come back here in a bit. Uh, there was... You haven't had Wi-Fi in a while. Fair play. I hope everything's okay, Eric. You moved upstairs, didn't you? How's that going? Is that why you haven't got Wi-Fi? Two gigabyte mo oh man. Silver rupee. Sean, you did say something about going to the light. Is that what you meant? Okay, well that that was like nothing. <laughs> let's uh let's go exploring. There's somewhere else I, I think there might be something, so we can go have a look. Uh the second floor is fine besides your super tiny kitchen. Well as long as you can make the meals and stuff in there. You got 10 gigabyte. I, I can't even remember what I've got on my phone at the minute. I think I, 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 I lived on one gigabyte for ages. And then I think when I upgraded something, they gave me 6 or 12. It's one or the other. But, I mean, let's be honest. This past year, I've been at home mainly or work. And I've always got Wi-Fi, so... We have got a, a raid coming in. Miju raid. 
Mage Rose, welcome. A big dumb call, welcome. Guys, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're just completely lost at the minute. <laughs> no, we're trying to find Triforce bits. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Pattern Plays, welcome. Miju herself, welcome. Can we get a, uh, a link back to Miju's channel mods? That would be amazing. Bryant, welcome as well. What do I do for work? I I can't tell you. It's classified. No, Matt, it's fine. I, I work... Um, I'm an IT engineer, IT technician. I work across a lot of different educational facilities. Um, that's my day job. Okay. Kaji Do, welcome. Yeah, Nightbot should be working. I thought it was working all stream. How how is Miju doing? How's things? I did see what Miju was streaming earlier. It was a game I don't think I'd heard of. How was it? Yeah, I don't do anything with universities. Indeed, Patton plays as well. Some of you guys know who Patton plays is. Please go check his channel out. Right, are we supposed to be here? <laughs> uh, let's go find out. There looks like there might be a treasure chest right at the top that we haven't come to yet. The knockout volleyball, that was it. Was it a battle royale game? I didn't see that. Yeah. This guy. I honestly, I think he is a stalker. Everywhere I go, he seems to be. And he's just like... He's very careful about it, you know? Making it not look like he's following me. This cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. You gr you grimy, trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you, I say. Charming. Indeed, yeah, exactly. Mini consoles. Pat and Germain. Okay, we got another treasure chart. That's cool. We were going to go and find Tingle as well. I mean, look at this. Are any of the type of people that would just move away to a, like a your own desert island, deserted island rather? This is a pretty nice setup, to be fair. You got a swimming pool area got a bar what else do you need just sleep down here on the beach you need to hack your snes classic i definitely a snes classic is the best snes it really is it's uh it's great for hacking
Yeah, I, I mean, the SNES Classic one I did, I still think it's uh, fully working fine. They've updated the software, the Hatchy software, but it still works pretty much the same way. That's why I haven't updated it. There's really nothing to update. They did some more versions of Hatchy so you could run games off USB. I think it was using an OTG adapter. And obviously, you know, using other systems on it as well is maybe uh, a bit more updated, so. Ho, 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 ho. And how do I look today? You know, he always shows off his pictures of me. Just, yeah, we've already had this conversation. Isn't this Miss Marie, though? I'm pretty sure I was supposed to have given Miss Marie some pendants. You've seen the small metal... P okay, Joy Pedestal. Uh, yeah, they got installed a little while ago. It's part of the grand plan to help decorate the town. They're brilliant. I may as well tell you that both myself and Zan Zonari, the guy who runs that stall over there, are members. You just have to be a part of stuff like this. Let's go have a chat quick. Oh, it's the Eskimo guy. Yes, 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 you're the young master who purchased my sale. At last, with those funds, I've been o able to open my stall. Sean, thank you again for subbing over on Switch. As always, appreciate it. Uh, do you keep an original file image of the standard classic games in case... No, no, you don't need to, no. It doesn't affect the, the built-in games. Plus, if you ever want to return your SNES Classic back to how it was... You can do that. Uh, the only thing I don't go over in my tutorial video is backing up the ROM. But you can use any ROM out there. They're all built the same way. They're not like each one has a different serial number. So if you want to put it back to how it is, not an issue. But I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, it is rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think that this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have wide enough lineup of products. But if I might, if I'm going to be fully honest, I only have one product. Put it another way, I think my stall would do better if I could only stock rare items. Yes, that's what I need. I'd make plenty of money, not just plenty of money. It'd be like taking candy from many rich babies. Not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, that is the proper perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out, a real go-getter. Well, I'm your man. I see that you've got a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it's a bag fit for a hero of delivery. I have a small request and it requires the use of that bag. Oh dear me, I knew it, young master. I knew you would understand my plight. It is rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. My store is kind of general store that makes its money by obtaining rare products. We kind of read this already. What does he want from me? Supply contracts. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it's just a word. Do not have to do anything very difficult. You need to trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock, you see. Among merchants, a trade is proof of contact. Uh, con contact. That is to say, it's the merchant's oath. This is what we call it. Yes. Um. Yeah, basically... We, I guess this is kind of a bit like a trade mission, isn't it? <laughs> that is a piranha plant. From uh, Mario. Find a place to set this rather small flower. Yeah, the first thing you need to do is take, take this to another travelling merchant. Trade it for something to build an on foundation of my merchant's oath. As soon as you trade, the merchant you traded with will send their projects to my shop. My dear, my expectations are high. Okay, well... 
I wasn't expecting anything like that, but... You know something? When you stand here, you see a lot of different people pass by. This is a brand new outfit, you know? I am... I, I was sure Marie is this woman around here. I thought might, she might want some of my pendants. Yeah, I don't think I've got to do the trading sequence. Um, I'm not going to get that. I'm going to leave my jar for a fairy. Well, I honestly thought I had to go and see her, Miss Marie. Uh, we also need to buy some stuff. So next uh, next time I see Beadle, we'll probably have to go and speak to him and buy bits. We've got a fish over here. Oh, it was a school teacher. Okay, well, I'll go back in a minute. Hoy, small fry, give me a break. What's with using the same bait all the time? Don't they make a premium brand of this stuff? Oh, well, such is the life of a fish. So you want to hear the info about this here island again? We've already spoken to this guy. We're not going to... Yeah, we've already spoken to him. Freaky looking fish. <laughs> I've completely missed what I'm doing now. Oh, hitting the fish. Eat your heart, Lara Croft. That was, what, eight of them? I only missed two. What's the deal, Fright? You could only hit me, oh, seven times. 70 rupees. I'm really, like, wondering, though, if I'll get a heart piece if I get all 10. So I'm going to just try this once more, and then we'll go and speak with Mary. And, yeah, that is a weird-looking fish. <laughs> yeah, we've done the dancing full.
close. Come on, one more, one more. We got this. I, I've got to get something better than rupees now, surely. That hit the spot. That completely cured my stiff neck. That, I've never heard anyone using arrows fired at them to cure their neck pain. Way to go for your uh, small pride. That was perfect. I guess I owe you 200 rupees. A heart piece would be nice, but apparently we can't, we're not allowed a heart piece. Advanced acupuncture. Something like that, yeah. <clears throat> right, so the uh, teacher was up here, wasn't she? Let's go have a little chat. Is it in there? That's not Marie. Some bearded guy. This is the Zelda version of Duck Hunt. The Zelda version of Duck Hunt is called Hyrule. Uh, <laughs> I nearly said Hyrule Warriors. What was it called? Uh, yeah, there, there was a game for the Wii where you had to like use a, a light gun attachment. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man and your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. She doesn't want pendants. Crossbow training, that's the one. Yeah, one day I will have to play that on the channel because I quite enjoyed that game. I've got like two or three copies of it. Um, that If that's Marie, she doesn't want my pendants. Hey, I don't know. Hey, if she doesn't want my pendants, I'm not going to like force it. That was a sploosh guy. What headset do you use? I use the uh, Arctic. Is it Arctic? It's a st it's a Steel Series. Um, I think it's a Steel Series Seven, if I remember. It's a really good headset. It does seven point one. Don't go for the uh, the Steel Series Nine. Go for the Seven. The Nine has got a few issues, from my knowledge. Well, you know what, guys? I maybe I do need to do something else first. I'm uh, gonna get out of here. Oh, that, that's just telling me about the uh, alternative, uh, alternative route to the bomb shop. So I did want to go up to uh, Tingle's Island. So maybe that's a good thing we could do now. So that is literally just down. Go Tingle Island. Matt, it, they're really not difficult. Um, for videos, if you're making videos, all you would do is select the input for the microphone. I mean, I use a separate microphone. I don't use a microphone on the headset. 
so you just select the microphone you want to use and then well your output's going to be your headset it's pretty straightforward if you want to use the built-in mic then you just select that instead they're not too bad but i wouldn't say they're anything amazing oh you got a blue yeti then you should be fine for that Right. I'm hoping this is Tingle Island. How could I miss it? <laughs> With that big head. Let's go have a chat. Yeah, I, I mean, at the end of the day, the headset's not the big deal. You could use your monitor for music or whatever, but it's all really down to the microphone, I would say. that. And you've got a Blue Yeti, which is fine. Oh, Mr. Ferry, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Goodbye, Mr. Ferry. Please come visit me here at Tingle Tower again. I've got... I need you to... um decipher some charts um you have a tingle bottles you not oh this was the guy who opens up me verse don't know I I am honestly I'm a little confused on what I'm supposed to be doing I thought Tingle was gonna like help me out I thought we were buddies but going by that he is he don't want anything to do with me I think, guys, this is probably going to take the longest part of the game. This is way more diff... Well, I wouldn't say difficult, but time-consuming. Isle of Steel. Let's go there. I thought I had some charts... I mean, I've collected tons. I assume some of them were for Tingle. Uh, right, we're going somewhere else now, so... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the maps myself. So hopefully we're going maybe in the right direction here. So we've got a little island over here, which I'm hoping. This is looking more like it.
Yep, good stuff. Is that it? <laughs> Maybe you have to do all these rooms to open up the next area then. Yeah. Right, so let's go up here. At least it puts a, like a little bit of fire above the doors so that you know which areas you've done. Oh, they, honestly, I I feel like I'm missing something with the uh, these enemies. Well, I do find the boomerang helps, but they kind of get stuck in the air most of the time. Forever. So we've got the one on the far right. I think that was the door we come in by, so this should be the last room. Right, this is just moblin, so this looks easy enough. So, that's new. the insignia reflect wind are drawn here so that must be is it wind's requiem
Hey, it was. Hey, our first Triforce Shard, finally. Wait, what was that? We only need seven more, yeah. Well, that is, that's a good start. Cheers, guys. Yeah, Eric, no worries. I hope you get better internet sorted out. So, where else can we go at? I, oh yeah, there was one back on Outset Island, wasn't there? I'm fairly confident that is also a Triforce Shard. Let's, let's get back on the boat. Does anyone remember how long the Ganon fight takes? Oh, sorry, the castle. Do you reckon it's uh, a couple of hours? Is it like a proper dungeon? Uh, the Dark Nuts in Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 were horrible. Even the Dark Nuts in Twilight Princess were troublesome. Well, never really played them, so I don't know. I'll take your word for it. The first time, probably a few hours. Okay, well, we, we'll stick for a bit trying to get some Triforce stuff. And then we'll finish it next stream. It, well, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's probably best to leave that to a, a final stream then. But I definitely want to try and get as many uh, Triforce bits as I can for the minute. entrance here guys very sorry I'll be right back Right, let's get back to it. Uh, right, so I, I was kind of thinking there could be something in here, but I can't.
Yeah, because there's a guy standing right at the top there. slow down going on. Cheers, Jack. I mean, I'm only going on the fact there could be something up here, because one of the... Yeah, that guy's over there. Can't see any chests. Top Gear was a good one, yeah? Awesome. Well, I don't know. I d I'm going to try and watch it tonight, Devil, but if I don't, well, I'm off work tomorrow. I was certain that a huge ferry could be seen right around here. Of course, oh, hang on. Of course, magic. That ferry is using magic. That is the only explanation. That's the only upgrade I have yet to get, the magic upgrade. Nothing here, though. Oh, we've got a fish. Let's go have a, a chat with the fish. So Zero is, is playing Spyro. Yeah, I did notice that, yeah. Uh, I only ever played the first one on the PlayStation. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart. Don't know if that was helpful or not. <laughs> I tell you, lately no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy who bestows magic power. She used to live here, Fry. All anyone ever sees anymore are the big octos that have been appearing lately. Maybe they scared her off. Oh no, I'm sh I sure hope they didn't eat her. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, yeah, we have to throw bait down. Well, that's kind of interesting then. So, the yeah, that is the only fairy I've yet to get. And that is the magic one. Now, the guy was up here, wasn't he? Let me just see if there is any... Any treasure appeared in this area. No, it's nothing to my knowledge. Oh, here we go. Wow. 
one of them's got to be something better. Somewhere. Sometimes it's it definitely seems better to just back off and then when you see the ring just come back and find it. Come on. Slowly does it. <laughs> Finally. <clears throat> More rupees. I mean, there, what, there is about four or five different spots around here. There's got to be... It can't all be rupees, can it? Yes, it's quite a low amount, isn't it? In chests. Seems a waste to just put 50 in a chest. But you know what? I don't think I am going to find anything. We've got one more to look at. I am nearly dead. I didn't realise my heart count was so low. That's right, Alan. That's what I'm doing in my head. <laughs> it can be a little bit like awkward controlling this boat. Getting it exactly where you want him. Come on. Come on. So not only did I just find rupees, I also am going to have to suffer listening to that annoying, you know, beep. Right, so this guy, he said that uh, 
something about the fairy's location up in front. Now, we've got an island over here, so... We could go and check it out. That's not good. That's not good. Quite sure about the colours. <laughs> What's the difference? The red and yes. I've wanted to find the uh, the fairy for ages, the magic one. So, Waker of the Winds, thanks to you. I have been freed from that beast's foul grasp. Oh, as thanks, I shall give you just a little bit of my power. Excellent. Well, if anything, I'm, I'm glad that we come across her. Because, yeah, that there was no magic, um, like, hut on an island. There is for all the other upgrades. But not magic. Because there was a mini game, wasn't there, that I could use, uh, I could fly it as long as I had enough power, magic, and I just didn't. So, at least I can do that at some point. So I think that's Dragon Roost up there. We've got double magic power. Yeah, finally. The treasure chest mini game was located right below. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just take a shortcut. Because that, that was definitely one thing. I, I didn't really want to go into the Bowser fight. Oh, look. Perfect. Let's go uh, try and get some upgrades while I'm here. We definitely need pairs. Let's buy some pairs up. Huh? <laughs> He's got such a weird voice. I love it. Uh, yeah, we'll buy a few pairs. Why not? It's not like I, I haven't got the money. Thank you. 
I kind of wish it would allow you to buy multiples and not just, you know, one at a time. I, if I want to buy ten, let me buy ten. Bye. Okay, we can only carry a certain amount anyway. Fair enough. Does he sell chicken? I don't know, but I'm starting to feel hungry now. I have, a, I have had a lack of chicken this weekend. A serious lack of chicken. <laughs> uh, right, I'm, I think I need to uh, head on over to the islands. Hope for the best. It's not really much here, to be fair. Got a fish, though. Is amazing. <laughs> Everything just freezes time. Like a trick, a chicken. What a Travis. Indeed, indeed. Quite a small fry. Uh, right. If you want a chart, yeah. We know about all your dodgy charts. See seagulls flying around, that's a sign you need to be wary. Because the seagulls flock to when to wherever big octos appear. Big octos, I tell you. Those things don't mess around, and that's all the info I've got to offer. It's a little uh harsh. <laughs> how can I how can I fight it? Just get out of here. <laughs> so maybe there is an Octo thing around here, if he was saying that. Say anything, but yeah, I I definitely need the health. I know. Fingers crossed. There's something up here. Very nice. Well, I'll keep me going for a bit anyway. Who needs health? <laughs> I 
Now, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a chest that appears after this. Some of them seem to do this. But, you know what, I'm getting out of here. I ain't got time for that. It's probably only going to be rupees anyway, so... I was fairly confident there was something to do with the Triforce around this area. But, honestly, uh, I can't see any other... ...anything to get onto. They were talking about an, uh, one of the big octopus things. Maybe his around. So we've already been up there. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, this is close. I honestly thought I didn't have enough arrows. Uh. I was playing Sea of Thieves the other day. And... Man, the water in that game. It kind of reminds me of this, really. But the water, it's crazy how realistic it looks. I mean, they're both, like, very different games. I'm aware of that, but... I'm surprised I haven't gone back to it. I only played it for a, an hour or so. It's not good enough. Come on.
it's around here somewhere. Jumping in the water is not going to help. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I I don't know why. Uh, I kind of got a bit stuck, and I don't know why, Devil. But I I was really surprised how great it looks on my PC. It looked nice. But the sea, especially when there's a big storm coming, it's crazy. Finally. A heart piece. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a shard as well. Um, I'm happy I got a Triforce piece, I guess. But I would have been happier for uh, a... Yeah. Bit of Triforce. Yeah, Dibble, I, I will have to go back to it and give it a go. I haven't really uh, been playing much in my Game Pass lately. What is this? There's that guy again, and I can see another chest, so let's just pull up, park up. I, I see, I do indeed. What do you see? Right, there's something over there. We'll go and investigate that in a minute. KHD, appreciate it, man. Are you heading off? I will see you again. We've got a treasure chart. Good stuff. Yeah, we'll be going for about 10 o'clock, so half more hour. And I will return soon with more of this. If we can get it complete in one more stream, that would be great. Um, if not, well, we'll get it done soon enough. So he was looking over here. This looks kind of spooky. It definitely is quite a good game to just chill to, you know, just explore the seas. And in a weird way, I I kind of hope Nintendo does revisit this idea. Because Breath of the Wild, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of sea in that game, but it definitely is more land than sea, I, I feel. Oh yeah, KHD, no worries. That's alright. <laughs> Just double checking. Well that's a good sign. We can get get out of here. Exactly that. A lot of the islands are... Yeah, there's not much going on, is there? A lot of them are quite forgetful, in a way. I think if there was more, like, islands with landmarks, I would remember them more. 
but they're quite forgettable in ways. So what have we just been given? Yeah, the ghost ship one, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about. We got the tingle chart, we know where that is. The incredible chart. Okay, well, according to this, I was very near a Triforce earlier. I mean, why, why not? I, I, I don't want them to be, you know, copying Sea of Thieves. But a game like this would surely make sense. A pirate-themed game, or doesn't have to be Zelda. It just seems like a an opportunity they could reuse the engine. Right, so it reckons there's a Triforce piece. Very close to where I was looking over here. On the, uh, the far top right corner of the map. Uh, Sean... Not to my knowledge, no, I haven't really looked into it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And to be fair, it's, the sea isn't actually that big when you think about it. You can get across pretty quick, I would say. Especially with the, uh, the faster sail. So it says that there probably is a Triforce shard around here somewhere. But I mean, where? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Let's try this. I might need to uh, be on the boat to do this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be a little bit too far away. So we just need to wait for the uh, the wave to lift us. Look at that. Perfect. Kind of the thing then, so doing this whole Triforce hunt kind of forces you in a way to explore anyway. Because a lot of the game I've just been like going to where I need to be, so I do like the fact even if it is late game you do have to actually explore the, uh, the seas. Right, bring it on. I think this might be another tri yeah, trifle shard then. They all seem to be a bit like this. If 
think they'd shut their gob a bit more, right? <laughs> I tell you what, it's actually easier to just use bombs for this, rather than picking them things up. Oh really? So I had missed some earlier on, but I probably could have found them if I had explored. Dibble, you take care, man. I will uh, speak to you soon, no doubt. Right, so let's go for the one over here. When they, yeah, you have to be so quick to not get them to reform. These guys. Oh, we got bats as well. Of course. Why not? Gotta love your video game bats. Have you been playing Hyrule Warriors? Uh, I don't know. It's a good game. Although I do, I will have to eventually go back to it and finish off the uh, the story bits. But I, I see T Lean. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Come on, die already. Finally. I think the, uh, the sub alert's just caught up. <laughs> this thing is never ending, jeez.
Hey, shot. How's my day been? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I see Teeling. Yeah, it. There's a bit of an issue with notifications on YouTube. They've changed their API, so the alerts are delayed by, well, a few hours, apparently. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, though. That's got to be it. Choose in the game. Because you used to have in Ocarina, wasn't it, where you had the little rocket things? Choo Choo, yeah, I, I love Choo Choo Rocket. That was all, I think I've still got it on my Dreamcast. That was a good little puzzle game. Overkill, isn't it? Four of them against Link, the kid. I feel like I deserve that one. I earned that. Let's go claim my prize. So that's the second piece of the shard. And these are the ones I'm hunting down, aren't, aren't I? So three of them, I believe, I just get given. At some point. There you go. We only, only need six more. <laughs> only six. Right, there's one other, one place I want to go and check out then quick. Boops Dog, thank you for the raid. How you doing, man? Uh, let's use the... Uh... Yeah. 
You doing good? Niall? Good stuff. So we're gonna go down there. I believe there's one at the cliff plateau. You're doing some Minecraft, fair play. Fair enough. Liam God, welcome. Wind Waker, amazing game. It is. Uh, I'm slowly getting through the Triforce quest. <laughs> Making a bit of progress. So, I believe there's got to be something over here. So, it's maybe this little island back here. Thank you for the follow, Liam God. Always appreciated. Yeah, I'm hoping just we've got a few little islands there. Because I don't think I made it across in the previous streams. Maybe I can now. We, yeah, nearly at 1k over on Switch as well. It's been uh, going all right. I will definitely be adding some emotes to Twitch soon. I'm getting some sorted out. So uh, I will add them once, once I've got them all. And I'll probably just use the same ones on uh, YouTube as well. Have I got a walkthrough? I've got a map that I've kind of put some of the... Well, I've basically got a map that I've mapped out. So that I know where I'm going. But obviously it doesn't. I don't know if a Triforce piece is here. <laughs> I just know there is something here. And I already have been here, so. Can't be here. Let's get out. No, I've, I've just got a, a map on my screen to save me flicking between. Uh, I... I, it doesn't say what are, what are there, so I don't class that as cheating. Just that there was an island. Yep. You know what? I'm not convinced, though, that there's not something up here. Uh, you haven't played this game since GameCube. You missed out on the Wii U version. Liam, I have heard from a good source, reputable source, that, yeah, uh, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker is coming out this year. It's going to be some kind of double pack. Again, it's a rumour, but from what I understand, it's a done deal. I never really got that far on this on the GameCube. Hence why I'm playing it on the Switch, uh, the uh, the Wii U, and it's going all right. It's a good game. It definitely is probably worth playing on the the Wii U over the the GameCube. Yeah, it's kind of like a self-made map. Just so that I know that, you know, when I do come to streaming it, I've got some kind of backup. I don't know how to get up there. This is really annoying. The thing is, I've got to be able to get up there because there's one of those little leaf people. You've uh, you've got Skyward Sword and pre-order, same. So, yeah, I've got it. Uh, I played a bit of that on my Wii until it died. So again, that's 
it's going to be pretty much like a fresh playthrough for me. I remember doing the the fire dungeon. That's as far as I went before it crashed. Anyone got any ideas? <laughs> you can hook shot the tree. Okay. I'll keep trying that. Hey, Power Mad, how you doing? That tree looks slightly different, though, compared to a lot of them. But like I said, I've got to be able to get up here. Because there's the leaf people. Uh, jealous. Wish you could play it for the first time again. Yeah, it's it's always good, isn't it? Playing a really good game. It's good to go back. Well, if you could go back. Fresh. It was a bit like... I did play Ocarina of Time last year. And I hadn't played that since the N64. And honestly, I remembered bits. But the dungeons, I couldn't remember whatsoever. You need to go down that hole and come up a different hole. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Actually, I... Yeah, I remember now. So when we were in here last time, there was a... I think another exit. And maybe I, I needed to burn it or something. So maybe that's what I need to do here. And there'll probably be a different exit, yeah. You can, yeah, you can only hook shot on land, so. But that tree was different. Now that Major said that, I definitely remember there being like an alternate uh, route through this. It. So if we jump back in here, oh maybe there was just the one at exit. I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything else down there. Huh? What was that all about? That's it. Well, I'm, this was the bit that we need to glide across. Oh, 
Look, guys, we already did this. <laughs> See, my map is useless. <laughs> it doesn't help at all. Uh, okay, well, we've done this already. There is that side quest where we need to go and get the water from the forest haven, but I don't think I need to do that. Let's we'll have a look up here, just on the off chance. Apparently not, Sean. Apparently not. Yeah, we've been here. Back off, back off. The music is amazing. I I was browsing YouTube the other day. There's actually uh, like an orchestral version of this. Like with a, a full orchestra. I think they did some traveling around the world playing like Zelda music and stuff. We, we've had that stuff happen in London before. I know they've done Final Fantasy, Zelda, Kingdom Hearts, bits and bobs like that. It's pretty neat. I like it. Oh, you have seen him live. Nice. No worries, uh, Niall. You take care, man. To be fair, we probably won't be streaming too long. I just wanted to at least get one more Triforce shard. I know where one is 100%, but that's quite a mission to do. That's down at uh, Outset Island. Sorry, what, what's this? What have I missed? I just feel Nintendo have just announced two mystery updates for the 5th and 12th. Sorry, what is this? I am very intrigued. And this is actually a Nintendo uh, announcement thing. Whoa, guys, right? I went onto uh, Twitter... What's trending? Wind Waker. Yeah, Wind Waker's trending. I don't know exactly why. Uh, and what else do we have then? You say... It, w it would actually be... A thing that <laughs> if Nintendo announces Wind Waker coming to the Switch literally after I finish this game, this happened when I did Link's Awakening. <laughs> Wind Waker's trending because I'm playing it. 
Well, that can't be right. We would have quite a few viewers if that was the case. Uh, oh, look, we've got a chest down here, though. A magical chest that can only be seen in the light. Everyone's... Oh, really? Fair enough. No, I think I think that's more likely why it's trending, because I'm playing it, not because anyone's watching the stream. We broke the, uh, the Twitter algorithm. Let's have a look over here, then. Probably should have used a bit of whim, but I think we're going to make it. Like a pro. <laughs> okay. How do I get it to appear? Right, so we've definitely got a chest here. But why is it invisible? And what have we got to... Uh... I honestly don't know. Does anyone in the chat know? Shield? We've got nothing here. It's just literally right here. I, I don't want to leave it. Because that's got to be something decent, surely. That's not working. Uh... Yeah, the shield doesn't work. Maybe I need daytime. I'm pretty sure it isn't there in daytime. That's the thing. There was also, when I was last here in the evening, there was a girl just up this path, right? Hey, Sumik. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not working tomorrow, so... I just wanted to make as much progress as I could. Yeah, we got this ghost girl. Who I kind of lost last time. All right, where's she going? Oh, okay, Liam. I will, uh... I'll try that. No! <laughs> that was annoying. I wonder if she reappears. Or maybe not till the next night. Yeah, she's gone. I might try that again. Because we can fast forward through time. So you reckon the lighthouse... Ah, uh, yeah, of course. The lighthouse might be working again. Yep. 
because I can't remember exactly. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not working, but there was something that we had to do to get it working again. Yeah, it's actually a wind-powered ferris reel. It used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner. But we rarely get a favourable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. Pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though. So if the wind blew in the right direction again, we'd just have to hit the power switch to get it back moving. Looks like a northwesterly wind is blowing now. Let's try... Change the wind direction. That was supposed to be northwest, not west. <sighs> hey, David. Yeah, I, I'm not working tomorrow, so it's not a big deal, but we will be coming to an end soonish. I just, honestly, I wanted to get another piece of yep. the trifle shard, but it's obviously not going to happen. So where's the button? He said, change the wind, huh? press the button, huh? and it will, you know, start moving again. She's back. Spooky ghost girl's back. Her memories are bad as me. <laughs> oh no, she does remember me. That's fine. I've got no idea what this is going to do, <laughs> but whether it's a side quest thing or I need to do this, but I think it's worth trying. Right, she's going to go up there then. What? How? How? She can see through walls quite clearly. Yeah, Bay Bayonetta 3 must be some point this year, right? It's... They've been so quiet about it. You would think it, it's pretty much... It must be done. It must be waiting to come out. Actually, a wind-powered ferris wheel. It used to harm it, yeah. Out back. Looks like a south-westerly wind is blowing right now. So let's change the wind again. Link just pretended to be a cat. I noticed that. <laughs> that was funny. South, what was that? South Wesley, I think that was. 
and they said press press the button yep. Yep. out back. Now you you would say out back around the actual windmill. And that's where there is a ladder. Yep. Unfortunately, I think I uh, screwed up the wind direction a bit. I think it was supposed to be uh, southeasterly. Well, yeah, I don't know. He has quite a few voice lines. Because he, he says, like, st come, what is it, come, stay here, stuff like that. Northwesterly, right. Let's do this again. Let's go and press that button. Well guys, we're definitely not going to go and find another Triforce Shard. What I want to do is get this work in. I'll go and try and chase down that spooky girl. And we'll leave it there for tonight. It doesn't seem to want to work. <laughs> yep. Yeah, from what I understand, Nintendo are uh, not going to be releasing, you know, pro-only games, but third parties will. That's what has been claimed. Because none of Nintendo's games generally require, like, a beefier system. Breath of the Wild, definitely. Hyrule Warriors definitely could make use of, like, extra FPS. But I guess if Capcom or... Square Enix, they want to release games and the Switch isn't powerful enough then they could just release some Switch Pro only like, if they wanted to. They're going to be missing out a bit of a market but South Easterly Wind Okay, we'll go north because quite clearly what I'm doing isn't working. Go. Got power.
Come on then, what have we got that's up waiting for me? Definitely not a trif uh, trifle shard, I know that, but... Heart piece could be nice. If it's rupees, well... That's a waste. Wilder of the Flaming Arrow, when you appear, the lighthouse signal shall return to light the seas at night. What's that just mean? That the lighthouse signal works? I there's nothing up here. Let's give that a go. We have light. And there's our chest. That's how we get it. Cool. Right, let's float down. And probably die while we're at it. <laughs> okay, so we can get to the chest. Let's go see if Creepy Girl's there. But what I'll do this time is stay back a little bit. So she's got no chance of seeing me. I think it was worth it just for the meow. I I don't know. I thought I was quite well hidden there. Okay, I, I don't think I messed that up. I think the first time, she, uh, yeah, I, I think that was all right. Oh, d Liam, don't worry about it. We, we're near the end of the game anyway, it's fine. We have kind of said throughout the, all of the streams, no backseat gaming. I've done, I've, I've got through the majority of it fine. It's just this Triforce thing. Is uh, starting to bug me a bit now. Right, let her run off. 
Is she? Yeah, I, th I think that that is her her thing, isn't it? Just to continuously running around in purgatory. Marco, hey there. Happy Easter. Hope you've had a good day. I'm loving the cat impersonation. Makes it so worthwhile. <laughs> How do you think she's doing she's doing my head in? It's like the fourth time. Okay, so we'll just stay down here. I bet she'll probably still hear me, see me. Or comment. Yeah, right. That's pretty normal, I reckon. So now... Yeah, she runs down there. So that first time I got caught, I, I could have continued then, really. Lead me to your treasure. Let's hide behind the tree. Well, that was weird. So she was trying to break into the safe. But maybe I need to uh, spring out and catch her in the act. Try that once more. Maybe when she's she's looking to get into the safe, maybe that's when I go and speak to her. Yeah, she is a thief. A ghostly thief. Liam, you wish you got the Wii U version. It, it is really... Yeah, you compare this to the GameCube version, right? The only only downside with this version is maybe some of the lighting isn't as... as good as the GameCube one, I would say. But generally, it looks crisp, clean. It looks nice. I love the widescreen. I love being able to use the gamepad. That's one thing when the Switch version does come out. It's probably... Well, it won't have that feature, will it? So, if you still got a Wii U, it's probably worth picking up. Her father was the braggy rich man. That explains a lot. So, maybe I need to go have a word with the dad. Maybe I should let him know that his ghostly daughter is Nick trying to nick his money or You, you, you startled me. Uh, wh what do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are anyway? 
A what? An ally of justice? I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yeah. Please let me go. It was just an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Why don't you say something? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. I was once the richest little debunte in this town. Did you know that? Debunte? <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to say. Uh, but one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune gone. That was where my life of poverty began. Now, every day from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So, as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my uh, pitiful life? It's kind of funny. No, I bet not. Uh, and to make matters worse, for some reason, I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. Makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Do you understand my plight? Then you'll let me go? Why not? It's true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. It's time I quit making... S That's another thing. So, although Link doesn't speak, he does have lines. And a lot of Zelda games he doesn't. Uh, it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will do anything... I won't do anything like that again. What an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please take this. Finally, we got another empty bottle. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. What am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Hmm. So I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Thanks for tonight. I feel much better about myself. I've changed her ways. She's not going to be a thief anymore. Well, that's what she told me. Um, That's cool, because I only had one jar, so that gives me two jars. Let's go and try and get this chest, and we're going to leave it there for tonight. That was a long string. <laughs> I ain't got any magic. Oops. Well, you know what, guys? I don't know if we're going to finish it in one more stream. But we'll see what happens. Come on. Give me some... Indeed. We've done good work here today, guys. Now give me magic. Well, the good news is, I believe this guy here, if the shop is open, should sell me magic for one of my bottles. Uh, yeah, the jelly shop, that was it. Oh, that's only life energy. Yeah, we don't have any uh, magic. Although, to be fair, I thought I had some chew jelly. Cage D, it's been a good stream. I think we've uh, we've made good progress. We found a bunch of stuff, like I said, we got some bottles, we did the dungeon. I still can't find any magic. <laughs> Maybe this chest is not meant to be mine. When you don't want rupees, there's loads of them. When you do want some... You can never find them. Yeah. 
yeah, guys, like I said earlier in the stream, I will do another Zelda game in the future. We'll probably give it a bit of a break for a bit, because they are long games, but I will return with another Zelda at some point. Where is magic? Oh, come on. This is a joke. This is seriously a joke. Maybe it's not meant to happen. Major, give me a pro tip. What is a pro tip? Of course I could go and get magic from the, the beanie guy. Whatever his name is. No, he doesn't have magic. Uh, if he wants to give stuff... Ah, right. I tell you what, I did wonder why that wasn't happening. Let's assign it to a button, some of the jelly, then. And see if he can make some magic stuff out of it. I thought that was jelly. There you go. Could it possibly be some chew jelly? It's quite clever you bring in such quality ingredients. I'll take five. Uh, I'll give you one free serving. Well, that's amazing. But I don't want the red one. <laughs> I should have given the uh, the green, which is magic, I assume. That guy's got issues. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the sparkle I was looking for. The sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka! Going to create a, a one of a kind potion. There he goes, look at him. Look at those teeth. Mackie, that's cool. Didn't the plants refill your magic, the ones that shoot you up into the sky if you don't move? I don't know, Liam. Can't remember that. Whether it gave you magic back or not. So, we got a new concoction. We're going to get the first batch of it. We don't have an empty bottle. So I'm going to have to use one of mine up. Before we go and get that then, let me go and speak with the teacher. Because I could assign one of the pendants. If she's awake, I don't think she'll be here. Or I'd be slightly concerned if she's in our classroom in the middle of the night. Okay. My dear, that's a joy pendant. To tell you the truth, I love jewellery above all else. And that, why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. 
Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, I insist, only one. Tell you the truth, I'd actually like 20 of them. That probably only happens in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. So, we want 20 of these. Do I really have to do it one at a time? <gasps> oh, nice. Old oh, Cabana, the Oasis down south. <laughs> You're f yeah, we found the cabana place. That's cool. I'll have to maybe do that another time. Oh, I did give enough. Right. That's cool. Okay, well, that's all done. So we've got the cabana thing. I know exactly where that is. But we're not going to go and do that. We are going to drink the goodness, which is, well, the way Link Link looks at it when he drinks it. <laughs> Can't taste that great. Let's go over. Yeah, it looks like... I don't know, a veg smoothie or something like that. Oh, we changed the wind. That is one thing with this game. You always have to remember the wind direction. Because so many times I've jumped off of a platform realising, hang on, we need to change the wind direction. So let's try... Is it west? Uh, let's give it a go. Yep. Oh, she gives you a heart at hundred. Right, you. Uh, that's the fourth piece, completing yet another heart container. That is amazing. Uh, right. Bear with me a second, guys. You know what? We, we're not going to do a raid tonight because it actually is quite late. I didn't realise it was quarter to 11. Take care, guys. I'm going to leave it there. That was a really long stream. <laughs> I need to go and move my legs around a bit. Guys, um, it's unlikely I'm going to be back tomorrow, but I'll be back on Tuesday playing. It probably will be this. If it isn't, um, we'll catch up with this another day. Guys, you have a, a great evening, or what's left of it. Take care. Oh, snap is... Hold on, hold on. Oh, jeez, she is streaming Mario Kart. You know what? Don't. I'm not going to go and raid because I'm going to feel bad that I can't stick around. So we'll just leave it. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Laters.